Good evening. Welcome to Mike's Cooking Studio. I'm Mike. Here we are in my cooking studio or the kitchen here in my one bedroom apartment. I call it my, my Mike's Cooking Studio. Today is Friday, October 18th, 2024. And I am cooking today. Uh, it's Friday, October 18th. Like I said, it is 7.07 p.m. Eastern Time, and it's about 52 degrees out. Um, not, no rain or anything, but a nice fall day. Um, so shout out to all my uh, subscribers. I'm up to uh, 376, I believe. And shout out to Robin. I hope you, I'm glad you liked the uh, unboxing video. I hope you all got to see that earlier. Using my, using one of my new mugs. But I got Temptations mugs, the gray one. I was supposed to get a black one in that mix, but they didn't. I already spoke to QVC. Apparently I'm not the only one that didn't get the right colors. So, I'm not the hassle of ship them all back. I just think it's a hassle altogether. That's why I don't buy a lot of things from the home shopping network. You know? Uh, so they gave me a $10 credit. The black imperative to the set. It is to me, I just might, you know, I wanted the black one. Well, I can move with the other one. The gray will be my cup now. Now, I think that one to my neighbor, Dina. She seems to prefer the white one or the off-white one. I don't know what pure white. And the lid, it, or the ornament that came with it. I gave it to her in the box. Well, it was going to make the Christmas present. Still like it. I'm going to bring it over when she has coffee. Now, this is a 16 ounce. And I, I do the highest on my curing. And it brought a right up to the rim with the creamer and everything, so. Just keep it off the floor. Oh, come down off of me now. So I'm doing beef and gelatas. Uh, the, the last like half hour is gonna be in the oven. I'm using the electric skillet. Uh, sauteing some peppers and onions first. Then I'm gonna add the ground beef. Now this recipe I saw I do have the recipe, written recipe. Now the first place I saw it was on Facebook. It was it wasn't one of the short I guess it was a short video. Like a sh one of the real videos, the short videos. But actually she went through the whole recipe. You couldn't see the woman, but you could hear her talking through it. And I thought it was gonna be one of those things they have to follow along the video to get all the ingredients. No, she has a website. She's on YouTube. Aldente Diva. I'm not sure what her first name is. I'm sure it's here on her website somewhere. Um, beef enchilada. She has another one with chicken. It's like white enchilada sauce. This is going to be red enchiladas. So I'm sauteing the onion, the peppers and onions, for about five minutes. Then I'm going to add the ground beef if I get ready to see. Pound and a half of ground beef. There you go. Mix all this up. And turn on the overhead exhaust fan. Not hard because then you won't hear nothing at all. It's like a jet coming through. So we'll keep it on low. Oh, 
don't think they're really simple smoke detector on using the electric skillet. A couple of other things they do, but not the electric skillet. It doesn't get that hot. I, mean, I can get it. I don't even have it on the highest setting. Or maybe I do. Stop browning this. Brown beef. The resin becomes a little weak, becomes a little vague. Now, I just, I have a, how many ounces this is? This is a 20 ounce can of red, red enchilada sauce. Now she does put some in the, in the ground beef mixture itself. I'm not sure how much I want to put in there. I know it's not going to be half the can. Because then I'm going to put some in the baking dish when I put them in that. I was going to take probably like a cup worth in here. It's probably not going to be even a cup. Tough little seasoning package after this is all brown will be the next. It just says follow the instructions on those. I'm gonna use one, I'm gonna use this one because it's got 30% less sodium. I'll use one of the these here. Quarter of a cup of water. Quarter cup of water. Quarter cup of water. About a half a cup of water. It's even. Very lean ground beef. Not a lot of grease to drain off. have a chopper that chops the beef the meat better. One of those multi-blade. I think I got that 
Taco season. It's like a lot. Two pouches. I think like one would be enough. But, well, not. I didn't write the recipe. Uh, Tell it this is three quarters of a cup, three quarters of a cup. Stirring. Look to a simmer here. Gotta boil off some of that liquid. It's not, it doesn't make my um, edge of my uh, tortillas things go soggy on me. Now my next step, after I let this cook in a little bit. So I'm looking at my other Smells really. Smells really good. Okay, this clean spoon. Get a little taste of this. Oh yeah, baby. Taco Tuesday, Taco Friday, Enchilada Friday. Yeah, there we go. Enchilada Friday. That's what we have. Enchilada Friday. I don't know if I've ever had enchiladas before. They look good. Now, it says to put in some of this enchilada sauce. I'll put in about maybe a that's good. I'm about to turn the heat off or down. Then I'm gonna add in some of this cheese. I have is it Monterey cat? 
Run a walk and keep the morning recap. They run up. No, that's not the song. Both of them were good. You want to use all of that because somebody's going to talk. What goes in the other? This is just cheddar, sharp cheddar. Accidentally, you know me. Get the cheese melted in. You just put a residual heat that's in there. I make my crunch wrap with the flour tortilla, soft flour tortilla. I'm gonna do this. I'm gonna bring the cutting board down and put them over on the See all that? I have my I have my baking dish. Yeah, that's what I'm gonna be using. The tortillas in. Got my cutting board out. I'm gonna spoon this mixture into each tortilla. Put some of the cheese melt down, pretty melting down. All right, good, good. Now I'm going to spoon some of this enchilada sauce on the bottom of the pan. Not a lot. Give it a base. All right, so I'm going to start filling these tortillas. Right in the middle. Okay, that's enough for that. Probably a little much. That one, first one. I'm going to put them seam side down. I'll show you that what they look like in the pan after I get them all in there. Thank you. 
kind of like a canola. You know, the open ends. Leave the, take the gun, leave the cannolis. Is that how it goes? See how the Godfather. These are cannolis. Uh, I haven't seen it in a while. I wouldn't know. I wanted to get my other pan. Tell my clear. Big one. Finish up a couple more of these. Use my square one. Two. Or one. Or one. Okay. Too much there. Too much fill on in that one. Okay. Now anything, now as for anything you want to serve with it, you could have some like Mexican style corn. That would be pretty good. I have sour cream in there, so. I'll have to look it up, but our enchilada is a Mexican dish. Oh, I have one. I have one left. I hope to see if I can make it fit maybe down the side. In that clear dish.
okay. I'm going to put some enchilada sauce over these. And I said it's just right, the, uh, Put some more cheese on top of these. I don't know if I use the rest of this cheese. I'll save some for dining with the. Uh, maybe I will. Okay, pan number one, see it? Six of them in there. Then number two is uh, five. They're going to bake in the oven for twenty five minutes. So we'll be coming back to the uh, finished product in about twenty five minutes. Thanks for watching. Come on back. I'll see you soon. That is all. Bye. Many unbearable hours later. Good evening. Welcome back to Mike's Cooking Studio. I'm Mike. Back again. It's still Friday, um, October 18th, 2024. This is the reveal, I like to call it. We're making the enchiladas. Just took one pan out of the oven. There was a six in this pan. I have 11 all together. The other pan's got five in it. Uh, probably. Oh, I probably could have stuffed them more, but I don't want them falling apart either, putting them in the pan. So anyways, they look delicious. They're bubbling. Probably red hot. Oh, I'm gonna get this out of here. Hold. Oh. I can see it. No. Right? There's one. Some of the sauce. Okay, one's good for now. You see that? I was going work with my regular plates. Uh. 
I have some sour cream here. I'm going to make my Taco Bell copycat crunch traps. I don't know. The couple that said, the couple that does the, uh, these that I've followed called uh, Shittable Recipes, the guy claims it's a Taco Bell copycat, crunch wrap. Now, none there's a crunch wrap supreme. Um, I'd love to just take their word for it. The crunch wrap supreme is a round or it's kind of a weird shape after you fold it all closed, like a, almost like a hexagon or. Oh, this is really good. I don't think I've ever used enchilada sauce for anything before. Thank you, Al Dente Diva. I'd like to send your picture to you. Somehow. You know, I have my certain websites I like to go to for recipes. One of them is, uh, one of them is Taste of Home, you know, the magazine. I don't get the magazine. I get a lot of emails from them. Uh, all recipes. That's a good site for recipes. Uh, recipe critic. Eating on a dime. There's a couple of others I can't think of their names offhand. I think the lady from Eating on a Dime, Carrie Bernard, is subscribed to my channel. Oh my God, that was good. Oh. Oh, excuse me for a minute. I I should have taken a picture of this before I dug into it. Oh, well, for a thumbnail. Okay. Oh, there you have it. Eight one in front of you is lemonade. It's not like Wilder's pink lemonade. It's yellow lemonade. Wilder's. They didn't have any at the um, dollar store. The pink. I usually order them on, on Amazon. I like the wild. I don't like crystal light. So there you have it.
enchiladas, first time. Looks time for me. Love it. Oh, great. So, I'll see you soon. I don't know if I'll be back over the weekend cooking anything. Uh, I just want to relax this weekend. And uh, anyway, Mr. Good Looking, please subscribe if you haven't already. And, you know, shout out, you know, no, you know, all my, all my subscribers, shout out to you, Rob, and you especially like this, wish you were, wish you were here, um, so, and, uh, yeah, please subscribe, and, uh, thanks for getting me up to 376, whoever that was, and, uh, I love you all, have a good weekend, and I'll see you soon, bye.